Unpacking the Visible Knapsack. Go. In 1989, Peggy McIntosh, a white woman and anti-racist activist, published an article titled White Privilege, Unpacking the Invisible Knapsack. It includes a list of 26 ways in which white privilege shows up for the author in her daily life. Since first reading it a handful of years ago, it has personally helped me understand how my white privilege shows up in ways I wasn't even consciously aware of. I have packed my own knapsack here with examples from Peggy and some examples of my own. I can visit parks and natural spaces and feel like my presence will not be questioned. Whether I, oh, sorry, number 13 from Peggy. Whether I use checks, credit cards, or cash, I can count on my skin color not to work against the appearance of financial reliability. I can go for a walk or a jog in a neighborhood I don't know without worrying that someone might call the cops on me. Number five, I can go shopping alone most of the time, pretty well assured that I will not be followed or harassed. Number 25, if a traffic cop pulls me over or the IRS audits my tax return, I can be sure I haven't been singled out because of my race. If I have an interaction with the police for any reason, I feel confident that I will not be murdered. This is what's in my knapsack. What's in yours? Curtain. <laughs>